Jared Poland from NosePhoto.com. And guess what is back? The Raw Edit of the Week. We will try to do them as often as possible. Now, if you don't remember, it's where I go ahead and put out a raw file so all of you guys can edit it. I go ahead and edit it and send it over to another photographer to edit. And then we put ours head to head and see which one you guys like. Now it's brought to you by My Gear Vault, which is my new app. If you haven't checked it out, go to mygearvault.com or go to the Apple App Store where you can download My Gear Vault. It's the best app to input, organize, and protect your gear. So let's turn and see what we have right here. We have this photo that is mine this time. This one is of Modest Yahoo that I took. Uh, we had about 20 minutes before one of his concerts recently, and he needed some new headshots, so we went out back behind the venue and went ahead and shot it. So you can download this raw file over on the website. The link is down below, uh, and let us see your edits. You can also submit your edited JPEG file. Go ahead and export that. Uh, you can upload it to the Dropbox. There's a link over on the site as well. And later on in this video, you're going to see how Adam Lerner would have edited this shot. So I'm going to go ahead here and do my edit. I'm going to tell you the settings, 1 800th of a second at f2.5 at 1600 ISO with the Nikon D5 and the new Nikon 105 f1.4. You can see that it is underexposed. For whatever reason, I was off, and the first thing I want to do is go ahead and bump up my exposure. Something around here looks, it looks about good. Then, you know me, I'm a major contrast fan, but I like to do, I like to see what the medium contrast looks like. Boom. Mmm, crunchy. That's right, but it is looking way too blue to me. So, one thing I like to do, I like to go ahead and warm it up because it just brings it to life when you go ahead and warm it up just a little. Well, I kind of went quite a bit on that. Man, look how off the, it looks, it looks awfully green to me. Mm, I'm gonna split the difference between these two and that looks about right. Still looks a little dark for my liking. So let's see what we've got here. We'll go with that for now. That looks out, it looks to be pretty good. Huh, mess with the highlights. You know what? One thing I want to check out, I want to see how lens correction handles in this lens, because this is a tremendous lens, but let's see what it does. You see what it just did around the edges? It got rid of this vignette around the edges. Sometimes I like the vignette that is here, and other times I don't. But in this case, I like what the lens correction has done. It kind of brightens up the image down in this area, but wow, look at the fall off. Look how we're super duper sharp here and then the fall off on the beard over there, but it is tack sharp up in the eyes. So let's keep going on here and see what else we have. I don't want to go too far with the shadows because you don't want to be this guy, though that could be an interesting thing if you think that could work. Uh, but I think somewhere around here does it for me. That kind of works. White, mm, somewhere. It doesn't really matter much on that for me. Let's see what we got with the black levels. I don't want to go too far. That's the thing. It's like what looks good to me and what looks good to you may be totally different. So I'm very curious to see what you do. And be very careful on the clarity slider. If you become the guy that does this or the girl that does this, it doesn't work unless unless it works. I mean, I, I, it, it doesn't work for me. So I usually don't go too heavy handed on this. Uh, I'm usually in this range. It varies depending on, on what I'm doing, of course, but what else could I do here? Is it, is it not warm enough yet? So that looks pretty good. I could go in here and touch up the eyes. I guarantee you that Adam is probably going to go ahead and touch up the eyes. I'm not a big fan of going in to the eyes, not because I just don't do it often. I just don't like spending a lot of time on the editing. That's me personally. But let's see. Let's see what we can do in the eyeball area. That's not gonna look good. Oh God, that just looks so bad. Let's see the difference though. Will just a little bit do it though? Does just a little bit look okay? Maybe, but let's go into the other eye and do just a little bit as well. Oh, I did a terrible job. I did a terrible job. I wish I could just talk to it and say, do this. 
This eye I did terrible on. Plus, I don't like it. I'm going to leave it. Mm. I'm going to try and look. I didn't even go very far on that. And look what it did. So I got to go a little bit here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And come back out. Let's go full screen and see how we're doing. I mean, I like this. I like what's going on. This could be a cover of his poster or, or something like that. I know there's a lot of different tweaks that we could do to this. All right, I, I'm going to call it a day and keep it pretty quick right there. I want to see what your edits are going to be. For now, I'm going to throw it over to Adam. But don't forget, you can go ahead and edit this raw file and also submit your JPEGs. I'd love to see what you guys could do. You could post them on the Facebook page as well as upload them to the Dropbox. Maybe I'll make another video and show you guys what you guys did. Now let's send it over to Adam to see his raw edit. All right, guys, now it is my turn to take a crack at this raw edit. So let's jump in and take a look. All right, very cool. Look what we have here. We have a nice portrait of Modest and sporting some pretty serious dreadlocks. Okay, so let's get right in here. We're in the library module. I'm gonna hit the D key. Boom, now we're in the develop module. All right, so what I can see off of here is that we've got a great exposure, but I really just wanna kinda of punch it up. And just judging from the way things look, I know I'm gonna do a color edit, but I'm probably gonna do a black and white edit because, uh, because just because. Um, all right, cool. So let me go in here. I'm just gonna boost up some clarity. I just wanna see those, that skin just kind of take on a little bit of a, a, little bit of a vibe. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast, but in doing so, it's darkening things up. So I'm gonna add some shadows, open up the shadows a little bit, something like that. And it looks a little bit, um, a little flat with the white balance. So let's bring up the white balance a little bit. Just add, yeah, look at that. Look at how much nicer the skin is starting to look right there. That actually looks pretty darn good, just, just kind of where it's at. I mean, without even doing a whole lot. I'm also gonna bring up my whites just a little bit. And, and you can, at any point, you can hold down the option key for these sliders right in this region here, and that will actually show you where you have underexposed or overexposed areas, um, if you're really interested in seeing that. And we're gonna kind of go a little bit further with that. I'm gonna add a little bit more shadow detail. Let me just look at the before and after. Yeah, look at it already. It's already starting to punch. Get a little bit more contrast. Maybe just a little bit more clarity. And uh, what I wanna do maybe is just bring down the highlights just a hair. And I'm also like, look, we can bring them all the way down, but then his skin tone gets very muddled. So I just wanna bring them down just a little bit like that. All right, that's very cool. Um, okay. So now what I want to do is um, I want to I want to maybe just see what it, it's like to just add a little bit of vignetting. So I'm just going to bring the vignetting in just a hair, just a hair, just something like that. And I'm going to change the midpoint and bring it in more like that. And I'm going to bring in the roundness so that it's more just on him. You can see it's definitely giving a little bit of a, a little bit of a favor to that side of his face. Um, it's interesting how that works. Something like that. That's actually really cool. Um, we're almost there. We're just gonna do a few more things here. You know, I wanna maybe just bump it up just a hair in um, exposure, something like that. And let's just go in here and let's just look a little bit more closely at the skin. All right, so he's got a little cut on his forehead and a little blemish. So maybe we'll, we'll treat a few of those little things here. So I'm gonna use the healing brush tool. I'm gonna go to the queue. And I can change the size of it by sliding on the mouse little sliding wheel. Okay. And I can get rid of that by hitting the H key so I can see where, you know, how it looks. But I can also hit the H key to see where it's picking from if I don't like the pick. Um, let's see what happens if we try to eliminate this little guy there. And let's see, that kind of works. You know, I'm going to move this thing up to here. See if that looks a little more realistic. And you know, sometimes there's a little trial and error involved here. Yeah, that's not bad. We're almost there. Because it's picking up another little blemish. Oh yeah, we've got another little blemish here. So let's just get rid of that guy. And not from down there, maybe from up here. Let's see what that looks like. You know, we can go the before, we can go the after. That's actually not too bad. I don't mind that. You know, we'll get rid of a couple little more. You know, 
I, I like tidying up a little bit on, on the uh, portraits like this. Um, all right, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. Wouldn't mind just punching up the eyes just a hair. Let me get rid of that blemish right there. That's not bad at all. So let's now get out of this. We'll get out of the cloning healing tool and we'll hit the K key and we'll get into the brush tool. And I'm just going to reset everything. And I'm going to go in and let's go down and grab the Iris Enhance. And I'm going to use the default setting as a base. I'm also going to hit the O key so I can see where it's overlaying my tool. And I'm just going to kind of generally do that. I've got a little feathered out. Okay, I'm going to hit the O key off and I'm going to see what the difference is. And that didn't really add much. Let's see if we add a little bit of um, a little bit of whites in there. Just it just brings it up just a little bit of a hair. Um, yeah, let's let's just go with that. We're going to hit the K key. We're going to get out, and we're going to hit the Z key, and we're going to zoom out. And that's pretty cool. Let's go to the before, and let's go to the after. You know, that's actually not too bad. In fact, I kind of still want to just bring it up a little bit more, just punch it up a little, get a little bit more contrast, a little more clarity, and just open up my shadows just a little bit more. And uh, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to add a little bit more white balance to it, something like that, just to get the skin tones, maybe just a little bit of tint. All right, cool. So now that's going to be my color edit. So I'm going to hit Command N and I'm going to say color. And that's going to go and add a snapshot for me in the little snapshot area over here. And now what I want to do is I want to go black and white. So I'm going to hit the V key. That takes me to the black and white module. And just off the bat, man, that is just, that's where it's at. That's looking pretty darn good. In fact, I'm going to even take this a little bit further, add a little bit more contrast, a little bit more clarity. I'm going to bring my whites up a little bit more like that. Oh man, that kind of looks pretty awesome. And let me just hit the before and after. Um, yeah, maybe just a touch more in the shadow area. Let me see what that looks like. Somewhere around there, because I don't want to lose any detail in the skin over here, but I don't think that we have. Highlights still look pretty good. There's nothing blown out. So I think I'm going to go with that as my black and white edit. So I'm going to create another snapshot, Command N called BW. Boom. And there we go. We've got color. We've got black and white. And there we go. Those are my edits. All right, guys. So you just got to see my edit followed by Adam's edit. And don't forget that you can go ahead and download the raw file to play with it yourself. That means you can have the DNG to edit it. And don't forget, you can upload your edited JPEG to the Dropbox file, uh, the Dropbox folder, so we can take a look and see how you guys did. Adam, welcome back to this thing. Oh, man, it's good to be back. I like when we do them in person when we did it for the uh, the Adobe 30 videos and 30 days thing. But Yeah, that was pretty cool head-to-head. -head. I liked it. This will have to do. Mine is top left. Adam's is on the right and the bottom. First thoughts, Adam. Well, um, I tend to prefer my black and white edit over my color edit. And I kind of felt that way at the time, but I had the color edit, so I wanted it as an option. Looking at your color edit, um, I like the way you really punched it up. It almost, to me, looks overexposed. Like, I like that you pun punched it up a little bit further, but in looking at it, it almost looks like the skin tones are so blown out and there's, like, really no color information in the background. And that's what I absolutely go for in my shots is I don't care about color information. No, not saying I don't cut care about color information. I don't care if I've got blown out highlights in the face. To me... It was but is there any, the face. Is there any texture on that forehead, or is it just, just, is there still skin? Yeah, there's still skin. I can still see it on my screen throughout here. All right, all right. I, I think you didn't go, I think my crappily underexposed image, poorly exposed at the beginning, in, in, in essence, uh, was brought back nicely with the raw file in mind. I like your black, I, well, I would like your black and white if it was more uh, along Punchy. the lines of my edit, for example. Right. If I go to... I, I didn't even think about going black and white personally. Yeah. But honestly, that kind of works. Yeah. You took it you took it a, a lot farther than I did. Um, I might have just taken it a little bit too literally. Um, but, uh, I mean, look at the dreads on the right of his head. You know, how they're so blown out. But I guess, look, that's just a preference. I mean, I get it. I mean, I like the moodiness of my black and white 
a lot. I also like if you maybe took yours and toned it down just a tiny hair, I think that color-wise that definitely is far superior to my color. In fact, I don't even really want to see my color edit so much anymore. I'm shaking my head no because I don't agree about changing mine, but I'll get rid of your color edit and do this. Um, Okay. I'll claim victory, but you can claim victory too. You left that giant like scab on his forehead you know you i didn't even notice it when i was editing but you didn't even give a shit like you're like oh whatever there's a scab on his forehead we'll just keep it there well i maybe <laughs> that's what he wants like maybe the next <laughs> album's called scab head scab or head. something yeah okay you don't, you well know. no i to be honest with you i didn't even notice it until after i was done editing and gotcha. it's fine to get rid of it but i honestly don't care because the dreads look a certain way he looks a certain way i think the face looks a certain way we leave it yeah. up to you guys as always you could always leave a comment in a positive way say which one you like better and why but do it in a positive way no need to rip on on mine and say it's terrible because of x or adams because it's y give positive feedback and Put your money where your mouth is. Go ahead and do your own edit. Post it on the Facebook page, but also upload it to the Dropbox link, which is over on my website. You can upload a JPEG, exported JPEG, and I'll go through them and take a look at what your edits were and see what I think. How's that sound, Adam? I think that sounds great. Can't wait to see what people do. And guess what? There's an I button in the top right-hand corner. You can click on that to uh, go download my Gear Vault, my new app. You could also go and subscribe to Adam's YouTube channel over there as well. What's your YouTube channel name? Adam Learner Photo. I hope it is. But go over there and subscribe to Adam. Uh, You can get his videos when he puts them live. Subscribe to me. But more importantly than anything else, download my Gear Vault. It's the best way to input, organize, and protect your gear. How's that sound? I think it sounds great. Did you even touch your vault yet, Adam? I've actually been dipping my uh, fingers deeply into my vault um, on my iPhone, and I think it's fantastic. I love the way it organizes all of my gear. So it's nice having it right on my phone. Cool. All right, guys. So... This is the first time we've done one of these in a while. It is always fun seeing my edit, seeing Adam's edits, and then also seeing your guys' edits when you do it. In the future, we'll call for submissions for your raw files again so that we're not just editing my images or Adam's images. But as always, when you download this raw file over on the site, I own this raw file. I'm giving you permission to go ahead and edit it for personal use. Do not call it your own. Do not say it's yours. It's my in. And we say Mayan over here in the Philadelphia area. So that's it, Adam. Any last words? Nope. Uh, thanks for having me back. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And go download the file and let's see what you do. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya. Subscribe now. Watch this, watch this video.